Hi, this is Craig from Design Kink, and I just wanted to show you a uh, template for After Effects called Minimal Showcase. Uh, it's a really cool template, and I just wanted to show you how easy it is to use. When you open it up, this is how you see it. Um, there's place um, holders for the photos and for your logos and things. Um, it's very easy to drop in your your new uh, assets. <clears throat> I'm just going to create a folder here. Uh, let's just call it links or whatever. And from there, I'm going to drop in my uh, logo, um, which is an After Effects file. And um, just open that up. And also, I'll drop in um, some photos for the slideshow. Um, I'll just drag in a bunch of JPEGs and drop that into the links folder as well. Alrighty. And so now, um, we're in the main composition. And um, I'm just going the timeline. So that first layer we can see that's another composition and it has another composition inside it called a logo holder so I'm just going to replace um, that with my logo um, to do that easily I just hold down on a Mac the command option key and the um, the backslash or whatever uh, the slash key and uh, let's just have a look at that that logo just needs to be resized a bit so um, that's done and we can see my logos there on the front. And what else has it got? I'll just um, have a look there. So there's that logo. And then there's another thing called Logo Image Cut and Logo Pre-Comp. I'll just have a look there. That's the Pre-Comp. So the Image Cut. Oops. Logo Pre-Comp. Logo Image Holder. Okay. So let's just replace that with another photo. And... Um, I could probably do that automatically somewhere, but I won't because I'm not the world's biggest power user. I, I'll just do it quickly like this. You can there's a shortcut that you can make it go in. Oh, that's right. I think it's is it G H? Nah. Anyway, whatever. Um, sorry to bore you with that. Just close that composition logo pre comp. And yeah, so there we have the intro. And as you can imagine, you can use whatever images you want. We go to the second white part of the slideshow. And that's, you just keep working through it like that. So this one uses an image pre comp one and two. Just double click that one at the bottom, image holder one. And I'll just choose another photo and on the Mac command option backslash. And there we have that photo in place. I'll just reposition it. Might look best like that. No, you can't see the hand. All right, let's have a look at that. Just for an example, say. And... When we have a look at that, you can see that there's text there that we can um, control as well. So add your own text and um, the city by design, say. Oh, my computer's being a bit slow. The slowness is also because I'm recording this video as well. Um, the city by design um, have your say. Now you can control the color of these boxes and you can also move them around um, using these controls at the top here. I'm just waiting for my computer to update. It's awfully slow today. I'm not sure just what went on there. Um, have your say. Let's type that in again. For some reason that didn't take there we go. Um, and there's that composition done for now. And so what we've just done is the introduction and the first uh, scene. I've got that on full. I'll just turn that on to quarter so that we can see that a little bit better. Okay. And that's the, that's the first scene done. Um, and then we could move on to scene two and do exactly the same thing. Um, but let's just go back to scene one for a second so we can have a look at those controls again. 
Um, in here you've got your color controls. Um, box color 1 and box color 2. So you can change the colors in there for the different boxes. And I'll just change the second box. Um, let's have a look. Give it more of a, a blue, red and blue. And so there's the box colors done. And you've also got control here um, to move the boxes around. Um, and so you can, you've got a lot of flexibility on how you can tr control it. Uh, the scenes themselves, there's quite a few different styles of um, scenes that you can use. And um, one way I did it um, when I had a, a slideshow with hundreds of photos was just to copy um, the entire project and save it again and export out um, uh, the different um, scenes which use the things that the, the elements that that look good for you for instance this one um, looks great um, in some situations but in other situations you might not want to use it and um, similar for for, for the, this one this one's actually a split screen scene so uh, it looks really cool it's very cinematic um, but what you need to do you saw, saw I just double clicked on the scene 11 here in this instance there's a pre-comp number 11 and there's actually two image holders so I would have to swap um, that photo out in that image holder and I would also have to swap this image out in this image holder and that way you get this dynamic split screen thing which looks awesome um, you know really cool effect so I think that's um, enough for now an introduction to the uh, minimal showcase um, After Effects template, really wonderful template. And um, the other thing I, I must add is the support for for this uh, template is outstanding. Um, I've rarely received such quick support, uh, support to questions and help and um, sending new files um, to help me finish my project, um, all, all within hours of me sending the initial email. So. Um, I, I just, you know, really value that. That's why I've sort of put this video together to show you uh, this template and um, hopefully it works as well for you as it has for me. And Yeah, okay. Have a great day or evening. Bye.